Sorry, good man, Alex. Thanks. Hi. Roger C. Huggins. I got the chart here somewhere. Pete, can you paste the younger Dr. Gray for me to get my appy moving? We're on lockdown. What? Why? Oh, come on. Well, that's a joke, right? It's a drill or something? Okay. It's no joke. Everyone. Everyone. We're sealing the floor. I don't know why, and it doesn't matter why, but nobody goes in or out past the double doors. You check on your own patients, and then you come back and check and see if there's any others in the queue. We don't have a lot of hands on deck. And people, do not alarm the makers of the tiny humans. They will eat you alive. I really thought that was a joke. <laughs> Sick joke. Excuse me? Uh, nothing. <sighs> what? What, you can't be stuck on the same floor as me? That's a hardship uh, for you? Yeah, frankly, it is. Has anybody seen Olivia Kagan's chart? Uh, I need a buterol nets for the asthma kit. Number 18's dose of ceftriaxone, 34 needs his mommy, and the kid in 35 won't stop crying. Do we have what, 42 kids? Four doctors and nine nurses? It's not enough. All right, why don't you just put all the kids in the playroom? I mean, we don't have enough staff for a whole floor, so at least they'll all be in one place, one big room. We can keep an eye on all the kids at once. You can't put a bunch of sick kids in the playroom with their beds and everything. Yeah, sure, sure we can. Stable ones can walk, and then we have wheelchairs, so let's do it. Move. Thanks. Whatever. The good news is less privacy, but the good news is, is that your bunny can make friends with a very attractive bear from down the hall. Cool. Hey, oh, watch sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. I thought we were going to be friends. You want to talk about this now? We're on lockdown, moving kids, God knows what's happening, and you want to talk about this? Well, we're stuck here, and we have to be together, so yeah, I'm talk about this. Okay, fine. I tried being friends, rising above. I tried that, and now I'm over it. I'm going to go the more traditional route of totally hating your guts. Okay, Christopher, Tyler, Tyler, Christopher, you both hate chicken. Discuss. Yes, I'm a vegan. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't deserve this. Okay, I have treated you with nothing but respect and love. Oh no, see, that's the thing. You think you have, but you haven't. I'm sure that it feels great to act like I'm the bad guy, but that's the biggest load of you know what that I've ever heard. I have spent the last month trying to convince myself that I don't need kids to be happy. Really trying, giving lectures to myself, saying it out loud to you and to Mark, and turning myself inside out to want what you wanted. And then I stopped for a second and I thought, did you ever try? To imagine what it would be like to change for me? Because I don't think you did. What you did was you dismissed my dream. My dream, which says to me that you don't give a rat's ass if I'm happy. I never understood squat about who you are, and now I do, and I don't like it. Oh, really? 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 I'm supposed to change for you? Why? Because we're in love? I mean, because you fall in love all the time. Men, Excuse women. Excuse me? Dr. Robbins. I don't feel good. Blood pressure's 90 over 60 and dropping. Let's hang some more fluids. I have the portable ultrasound. All right, check her appendix. I will be right back. When are you going to forgive me for not being a good enough lesbian for you? When you do something to convince me that you're falling in love with me and not with being in love. When you do something to convince me that I'm different than George O'Malley, Erica Hahn, Mark Sloan, or the girl at the coffee cart. I mean, you have a huge heart and I love that about you, but I don't trust you. Why would I? Dr. Robbins. Her appendix. Oh. Yeah, you're going to feel a poke and it's going to hurt, but only for a little while. And no squirming. It hurts. Squeeze my hand, squeeze my hand, tight, tight, tight. Good. Tight, 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 come on. Oh, wow. You're strong. There are only children here. They shot me.
she's going to be back soon. But you know what? Until she gets here, you have the best doctor in the whole world with you right now. Yeah, Dr. Robbins is the best doctor in this entire hospital. I, I, I think in the whole world. Yeah, people feel so much better after she helps them. Sometimes people feel better just after she walks in the room. Because she has got this super magic smile. Yeah, and when, when she smiles at you, everything gets better. You don't know it because you have your back to right now, but she is giving you... Wow. She's giving you her best super magic smile. Isn't that right, Dr. Robbins? Right. if kids need help finding their parents. People die. People are dead. I, I don't want to have kids if it means I can't be with you. No. No. We'll have kids. We'll have all kinds of kids. And I always thought that I wasn't cut out to be a mom, but you'll be a great mom. You'll be an amazing mom. And I love you so much. I can't live without you and our 10 kids. Okay.